Hi everyone, I'm back from my vacation and it is time again to present you yet another trading plan. Now, uh, since we are in the summer and the markets are a little bit harder to predict, especially on, for uh, long-term uh, movements, I have decided that we'll do something differently this week. This week, instead of presenting you a weekly trading plan, I am going to share with you two short-term trading plans. So, one will be today and the other on Thursday. Uh, so, stay tuned. Join our Telegram. I'll post live signups there, of course, and we'll keep uh, this pattern by the end of the summer when the markets uh, stop uh, working very in mysterious ways and start making some nice up or down trends. But we still believe that uh, we can make some great profits out of the markets dur during the summer. Now, let's get started. What you can see on the screen is the Euro-Japanese-Yen uh, currency pair. And what we are going to do is we're going to check some levels on the H4 time frame. Then we'll go to the H1 time frame and decide what we can expect uh, to happen by the end of this week. Uh, also, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the M15 time frame where you can look for entries. Now, on the H4 time frame, as you can see, I have already marked a few levels. So, we have this H4 resistance area and this H4 uh, support area. And my expectations for this pair uh, during this week is to uh, bounce off this H4 resistance area and reach once again to this H4 support area which was also the previous bottom. Now why do I believe a bounce from here will happen? Now first thing first, as you can see here we had a reaction uh, before the pair continued down and if we zoom out a little bit you can see how it behaved on this level when it was when the price was above it. Uh, you can see it acted as a very strong support level. Now a little bit more back. Uh, again, you can see here acting as a support, here acting as a resistance for a while. Then after the break, it retraced back to it, acted twice as a support, and then a huge upper, up run uh, happened. After which, when it retraced back to it, uh, the support was not that strong anymore since here uh, most of the trades were taken and it was, although we had a reaction, it was broken and for now you can see how uh, the pair behaves here, formed some huge tails on uh, the last few candles. So my expectations are from here the downtrend to continue at least back to the a previous bottom it made here and also this support was a strong support here where you can see how uh, it just changed the downtrend from downtrend to uptrend in a matter of few hours. So this will be our primary target. Uh, as you can see I have also outlined this H4 next resistance uh, where we had a stoppage a few times, uh, first of all here and here. If we go back again, here it acted as a resistance, here it acted as a support after the break and the uptrend continued. Uh, also here it acted as a strong support, sorry, and here it acted as a strong resistance. So this uh, level tends to be viewed by traders as a strong level, uh, they, uh, it either uh, works as a resistance area or support. In our case I would expect it to work as a resistance area so a second scenario here would be for the price to break this H4 resistance and reach all the way up to this H4 resistance. So either we'll look for a sell opportunity or buy opportunity depends what sign on we got. Now going to the H1 time frame, I'll delete those two, you can see better, as you can see after the touch of this H4 resistance uh, we had a very strong reaction, a huge bearish candle uh, without any tails so it seems that 
the uh, buyers got exhausted here and the bears took full control of the market. Uh, on the next few candles, we can see that there are some buyers, but I actually believe those are just sellers closing their positions. And I think uh, they will wait for their spot to re-enter again on the short side. Now, if we turn on some indicators here, like the 200 SMA, you can see that uh, the line is way up. So even if we have a break of this H4 resistance, uh, I expect the price to move further up as it has some breathing room here. Now the Ichimoku indicator is confirming obviously the downtrend and currently the price uh, is inside of the cloud uh, which tends to act as a, a strong resistance or support in our case resistance so I don't expect for the pair to break it uh, very easy especially that we have also this H4 resistance area which stops uh, H1 trends so this is an H1 uptrend here uh, and even if we see a break here it will be a double sign uh, for our buy position to reach this next uh, H4 resistance as uh, here we'll have a break not only of the H4 resistance area but also of the Ichimoku cloud so mainly looking for sell here H4 support area our primary target I just want to say a few words on the M15 and we are ready to go. What I noticed here is that we have this uh, sort of an area between those two red lines I already drew where uh, we had some uh, nice reactions. As you can see, uh, the price went into a consolidation here. Uh, after that it continued up to the H4 resistance, went back down to that area and we saw a bounce at least on the M15. Now in this case uh, also I want to say that this area uh, was a strong area back here and even back here so I believe that if we see a break of this zone on the M15 we will be uh, the price will easily go down to our main target. So what I'll do, you can also always look for sell opportunities in between uh, this zone and the H4 resistance area, but it's a little bit more risky. Uh, so I would recommend waiting for a break of this zone and then looking for a sell opportunity somewhere down here. Uh, if you see a break of the H4 resistance, of course, you can look for buy opportunities um, above uh, those tops here, so somewhere here. Uh, both positions would give you around 100 pips of profit, so they're good, and I believe uh, one of those scenarios will happen uh, by the end of this week. That's all on this plan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope uh, we will manage to do some profits this week. Uh, check out the plan on TradingView uh, below in the description. You have some fundamental analysis waiting. And also I will uh, write those zones in numbers. Uh, as I said, join our Telegram channel if you want to receive live signals based on our the plans we publish and also on plans we don't publish and also you can follow us on Twitter for uh, interesting news and developments regarding our company and our team and also we post live signals there on those plans so whatever suits you better I wish everyone a great summer if you're on vacation and if you, if you have the time I wish you some good profits